It's mid-February and time to start thinking about my spring wardrobe. The warmer days are definitely appearing round the corner. So I thought I would put together some ideas for my spring wardrobe. So I've done another uh, couple of drawings like I did for my winter wardrobe and put my ideas down on paper. So I'm going to show you what I have in mind and also show you a few things that I've been making over the past couple of weeks. So let's have a look at the final items to my winter wardrobe. I suppose they're transitional items really, so they will take me into spring. First thing I finished was, it's a Keep It Simple Babe uh, top by Patton Emporium. It's in light beige and it's got a long sleeve. Just a normal round neck or the high round neck that I have. Again, simple, like I said, long sleeve, just a simple treatment to the bodice. It's exactly like the one I'm wearing, apart from this, it's got the short sleeve. So that's item number one. Really pleased with that. I've not worn it yet, but I'm sure I'll wear it as the weather warms up because it's lighter colours as well. Second thing I made or finished is a cardigan, a lovely turquoise fluffy cardigan it's called spring fuzz cardigan i think it's called by drops design and i knitted this in melody it's a fluffy mohair type yarn but it's got alpaca and kid silk i think in it if i'm not mistaken might be mistaken there i put the uh fiber content of the yarn up on the screen somewhere but yeah it only took four 50 gram balls for my size it's got v-neck you can see it's knitted in the rounds so there's no seams to stitch up at the end I just had the back neck to stitch on which uh, is knitted first before you start shaping any of the cardigan and of course I added some of the little pearl buttons there as you can see and that is a nice little cover up for spring I also managed to finish off my machine knitted socks as I was telling you about the main part of the sock is knitted on the knitting machine and I've knitted the rib as you can see by hand on double pointed needles so I don't have a seam there at all I don't have to stitch in um, just weaving the ends there at the top obviously of the socks I have a nice matching pair of shorties. They're not twins, they're kind of very almost identical twins because I almost got the pattern matching correct but I didn't bother about it so I'm not surprised they didn't match. They're really nice and warm, they're knitted in drops, fable on the machine like I said, finished by hand. So yeah, really pleased with those because if it gets chilly at night I can pop those on and keep warm. They're also good for the caravan, keeping warm in the caravan. So yeah, I'm a little bit sad really that winter is nearly finished. My winter wardrobe's nearly kind of on its way to be packed into another wardrobe and stashed away till next year. But I am really looking forward to making clothes for my spring wardrobe. I do need, once again, trousers and tops. I'll show you my ideas of what I'm going to be making. This, uh, this capsule, I've got two pages of drawings. I only had one last year, or for the, sorry, my winter capsule. This is my first one. This is my essentials, I think. Uh, I want to make some little short sleeve tops like I'm wearing. Uh, so I think I've got them in uh, cerise, turquoise, what does that say there? Oh, yellow uh, and navy and a little navy um, vest top. I want to make a couple of yo-yo skirts just to pull on. I want to make them in navy and a nice cappuccino colour. I've got um, a pull-on denim skirt here with it. It's got actually got a split at the front, but it does look like shorts then. It's not, so it's a denim skirt. I want to knit myself a cardigan on the machine. I want to make a couple of pairs of urban pants in the long length and the crop length. I want to make um, a new pattern to me that I've not made before. It's the Parker Ponty pants and a couple of pairs of jeans. So they are my critical makes. Oh, and a, um, a couple of just pull on skirts. I want to make a couple of Genoa skirts instead of chambray fabric that I bought recently. And again, a few little extras here. I've got, I'd like to make an indigo skirt from Stylark. It's a really bad drawing, I know, sorry. A couple of pairs of pull-on shorts. 
uh, a little kind of boyfriend style cardigan here, a couple of tanks, long sleeve tops like I said. I want to make myself a denim jacket, uh, well not, not in denim but a denim style a jean jacket and again a couple of cardigans. I've pulled out some fabrics to show you as well. Uh, that I'm going in, I want to make up in the next couple of weeks if I have the time. I bought this fabric last year actually from Pound Fabrics. Let's get this the right way up, that's it. It's Cartoon Girls fabric, it's navy stripe with cartoon figures sort of scattered over that. I want to make a long sleeved top in that to wear over a pair of jeans just to you know maybe go out to lunch or do some shopping or pop to the post office. Yeah, I really like that. I should have made it up last year, didn't have the time. I also got some plain jerseys as well, some cotton jerseys. I have good old Cerise, my favourite colour. Turquoise, which is also my favourite colour. Two of my favourites there. They are really my, those are the two colours that are my make it pop colours, if you like, in my colour card. And I've also got a piece of yellow that I bought last year. Yellow isn't really my ideal colour, but because it's bright, I might get away with it. So a little top, just wearing the spring with jeans. That's what I'm looking forward to making. My spring and summer colour palette is staying virtually the same as it was last year. I'm going to have navy as my dark neutral, white as my light neutral. I'm having tan and chambray as my mid neutrals, if you can see those because of the glare of the, the light. Cerise, Kelly Green, yellow and turquoise as my bright colours. So you can see that the fabrics I'd already chosen to make up fit in very nicely with that colour palette. I also have some fabrics which should be delivered today or this afternoon and some fabric which may be delivered tomorrow. I've got some kind of sand uh, scuba crepe that I've got on order, some navy scuba crepe that I've got on order that's for skirts and trousers. Um, and I've also got some Navy Ponte, which should be delivered this afternoon, which is the Parker Ponte pants and a yo-yo skirt. So as if I can get that washed up, I can actually get um, sort of moving along with those two garments as well. Now, a quick bit of sewing news, not myself, it's not personal news. It's about the sewing company that was called Rebecca Page Patterns and now is called You Make Patterns. Unfortunately, the website has now been closed. I do know that Rebecca sold her shares of her part of the company back in May last year, I think it was. So she has now moved completely away from the company um, and is no longer part of it. But as You Make, um, the patterns that were originally branded as Rebecca Page were being sold as the You Make patterns and you could still buy those and download them up until the end of January. The website closed without notification so a lot of sewers have been left without having downloaded the patterns on the You Make website that they're paid for but haven't yet downloaded. So because the website has now been closed down, there is no way to download those patterns. This week, I joined a Facebook group which aims to rectify this problem that a lot of sewers or sewists may have worldwide. And that is to help sewists to download the patterns that are rightly theirs. So if you are in the position of having bought Rebecca Page patterns or You Make patterns and you haven't downloaded them, then please ask to join the Facebook group, which I'll link below. There is some good news. I have managed to um, get in contact with the lady who is now responsible for you make patterns and she has sent me 
my patterns that I hadn't downloaded but that I'd paid for. So all is not lost and the group will help you to find the patterns and gain access to the patterns that you may have lost. So if you think you may have patterns on the website that you didn't download when the website was active, please join the group below.